All right, we're now going to go over page two of the value finding report. I was blacked out the top of the form because we've already gone over that part of the form. The first USPAP standard rule, the standard rule 2-2AI, which says state the identity of the client. And for ODOT projects, the client is ODOT may need to change the name to the LPA for LPA project. The second use path standard is standard rule 2-2 aii I, and it says state the identity of any intended user by name and type. Uh, and again, the wording may need to be amended for LPA projects. And Grayscale indicates that you can go into this and modify the information. The standard answer for this for an ODOT project is the intended uses of the appraisal report are ODOT, property owner, the attorney general's office, the court of law, and the report is a public record. Third use path standard, 2-2A triple I, state the intended use of the appraisal. The appraisal report upon approval by the client may be used to establish the fair market value estimate, FMVE, if the report becomes the basis of FMVE, it will be provided to the property owner during the initial negotiation visit by the agency or its agent. Just be aware that once the appraiser completes the value finding and provides it to the district, there will be a review. And that reviewer will have to recommend the BF to be the basis of the compensation estimate. And then the agency, in this case would be ODOT, would have to establish FMVE. Many things need to happen. Next use path standard, standard rule 2-2 AIV. This appraisal report contains information, documents, and other exhibits sufficient to identify the real estate involved in the appraisal, including the physical, legal, and economic property characteristics relevant to the assignment. And you can see that we've outlined in, in a red box the, the information that we think is relevant to answer this USPAP standard. We need the uh, location of the property, row size of the site, the net size of the site. We need to identify the fee owner. And we need to uh, describe the whole property. Also, more information about the physical, legal, and economic property characteristics of the real estate relevant to this assignment or in the highest and best use section, it's time for another knowledge check.